Hey guys, Darcy here and welcome to a tutorial on how to install mods using the new Minecraft launcher which was introduced to us in Minecraft 1.6.2. Now, assuming your Minecraft, uh, whatever version you are playing in, uses this same launcher, this tutorial will work regardless of what version you're playing. Anyways, uh, if you open up your launcher, you're going to see that things are a little bit different from what they used to be. And uh, down here, you're going to see that you have this whole profile thing. Now, profiles is a system which allows you to switch between Minecraft.jars really, really easy. Um, and this is why they have introduced this new launcher, because it allows you to create multiple profiles uh, and allows you to switch between them super, super easy. Uh, so the, pro the process of installing mods has changed a little bit, and it's slightly, it takes slightly more time. Um, but uh, it has changed for the better, and it's changed uh, to make things easier for you in the long run. Anyways, uh, the first step to installing mods is to actually rename whatever your default profile is. So it's going to be whatever you called your Minecraft username. Um, and you want to edit that profile and just call this latest version. Now, if you used to install mods in the past, you'll know that everyone told you you needed to force update your Minecraft.jar so that you always had the latest version of Minecraft. That's not the case anymore because if you call this latest version and you make sure it's using the latest version of Minecraft, it's always going to use the latest version of Minecraft, which allows you to, um, you know, uh, not have to ever force update your Minecraft ever again. Anyways, uh, you hit save profile, hit play. Uh, you're going to download all the necessary files if you haven't already. And uh, now you have Minecraft when this actually decides to finish downloading. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, you take your time, it's not like um, it's not like I'm trying to record a video here at all. Cheers Mojang. Anyways, uh, that is about done. Uh, once your Minecraft has finished downloading for the first time, uh, you can exit out of it. And what you need to do is you need to navigate to your .minecraft folder on a Windows. Uh, I'll link in the description a tutorial for Mac users. Um, it's a little bit different, but the process is practically the same. Anyways, if you hit your Windows key and your R key, your Windows key is the one that is got you know the start menu um, icon on it. It's your my, it's your default key for Windows, and uh, you're gonna get a program come up called Run. And into Run, you want to type this in here. So it's percentage key, A P P D A T A percentage key, and that spells up data. And if you do a forward slash dot Minecraft. And that is going to take us to your Minecraft folder, which is this. Now you're going to notice this looks a little bit different to uh, previous versions of your .minecraft folder. And this is, uh, this is because of the way they've uh, changed it is so that now, instead of having one build bin folder, you kind of have multiple bin folders. Uh, so if you want to locate that, you go into your version section here. And you're going to see uh, whatever your version of Minecraft is, your latest version, it's going to be named uh, that. So for me, that's 1.6.2. For you, it may be uh, 1.7.1. I don't know. Uh, so uh, you can't actually mod this version. Uh, so you, what you need to do is you need to copy it and paste it and create a new copy of it. Uh, and you need to rename this copy. Um, now, the name cannot contain any um, spaces. It can only contain uh, full stops, underscores, and letters and numbers. So uh, we want to rename this to something that is going to uh, relate to whatever mods we're installing. So uh, I'm installing mod loader onto this. So I'm going to call this mod loader. Uh, 1.6.2 mod loader. Now, I actually want to select that name and I want to copy it because what we then need to do is we need to enter into it. You're going to see two files, a .jar and a JSON file, and you re need to rename these whatever you called your folder. So rename that to 1.6.2 mod loader, rename that to 1.6.2 mod loader, and uh, now you have those named that. Now, before we do anything, we need to go into this JSON file, and it's going to, going to open with a default program like Notepad or WordPad or Notepad Plus for those who use it. Um, and uh, you're going to see a couple pieces of code here, uh, which you're not going to really understand unless you know uh, Java, uh, but that doesn't really matter. Anyways, uh, we need to edit a couple pieces of this code. So you're going to see right at the top, you've got your ID here, and uh, you need to rename this to whatever you called your uh, folder. So that's 1.6.2 mod loader. Uh, you're going to see time and release time next, and uh, we want to rename these so that uh, it's a really, really old version of Minecraft. Now, you remember how we made the latest version? Well, 
it's good basically when minecraft looks for the latest version it's going to look at these uh two things here the time and the release time and it's going to work out which one uh was downloaded the most recently now we want minecraft to never pick this as the latest version so we're going to make this uh pretend like it's really really old so we change the time to 2012 uh minecraft will never consider this to be a latest version because it's super super old uh, but yeah, we're just tricking Minecraft there. So if you save that folder and exit out of it, um, now we can get into modding. Uh, so uh, if you remember your Minecraft.jar, this is basically it here. Uh, so you need an archiving program like WinRAR. If you right click it, click open with, you're going to get your .jar. Now uh, it's going to look familiar for most people who've modded, uh, but it has changed a tiny little bit. Um, so for those uh, who've modded, you're going to know what the first step of modding is. It's deleting the meta int folder. Uh, this contains a couple of things that will uh, conflict with any mod you install and will crash Minecraft. So you don't want to have that uh, installed at all. Now, as said, we're installing mod loader. Uh, now, if you're installing mods that require mod loader or forge, uh, you don't actually put them in your dot jar. For example, I'm installing a mod that requires mod loader. It's called Gamma Bright. Uh, so we're not going to put that in our dot jar. But if we uh, open up mod loader, we can put mod loader in our dot jar. So we just select all the files, control A, and you just drag them literally into there. Hit OK, and it's going to drop them all in there. And uh, we're also going to install Optifine because Optifine is a great mod which increases our FPS a little bit. Um, and it doesn't require any other mods, so we can chop that directly in our dot jar as well. Uh, basically, the process of working it out if you put it in your dot jar or not is does it require a mod like mod loader or forge? If it, the answer is yes, you don't put it in your dot jar. If the answer is no, you put it in the dot jar. Um, anyways, uh, if we can exit out of all of those, and uh, if you have any mods that require mods like mod loader or forge, what you need to do is you need to right click, create a uh, new folder, and you need to call that mods. And uh, inside mods is where you put mods like Gamma Bright that require mod loader or forge. And uh, that's about it. That, that's the installation process over. Um, so now what we need to do is we need to open up our Minecraft launcher. Uh, we need to create a new profile. So hit new profile. And let's call this mod loader because that is what it is. Mod loader. We then need to come down to use version and click. Uh, we need to find release. 1.6.2 mod loader. Now this is going to be called whatever you called your uh, your dot jar, your JSON in the folder. So select that, hit save profile, make sure that you're using that profile and hit play. And uh, that's going to load up Minecraft. Um, so let's create a new world real quickly and see uh, whether or not our mod successfully installed. Okay, loading world. Um, my Minecraft decided not to full screen properly. Whoops. Okay, there we go. So uh, let's see if uh, Optifine was installed. So we go to our video settings, and as you can see, this is not normal. There's a lot of different stuff here that can increase our FPS and whatnot. So uh, mod loader looks, uh, Optifine looks like it's successfully installed. I can zoom in and stuff. Yep, that's Optifine. Uh, the other mod we installed was a mod called Gamma Bright, and if I press the Gamma Bright key, which is G, boom, there you go. Gamma Bright's working. Uh, Gamma Bright's basically just a full uh, bright mod. So if I, you know, jump down into here. Um, covered myself up like so it's dark it's bright so uh, that's what gamma bright does anyways uh, I'm gonna show you why using this new technique is so useful so let's say uh, I'm a youtuber or I'm just someone who likes to play lots of different Minecraft um, and let's say I have a series like modern survival uh, so here is my modern survival um, dot jar it's got everything here all set up and modded I've got a couple mods installed all I have to do is I just need to, you know, mod Minecraft like I just showed you, and I can chuck that in there. Uh, let's say I also have a series where I do tutorials, and so I have a tutorial jar, um, which is all set out with mods like, I don't know, single play commands, mods like um, uh, too many items, and stuff that basically help with the process of making tutorials quicker. Uh, so if I call this 1.6.2 tutorial, 1.6.2, to tutorial uh, make sure that everything is renamed properly like I showed you before um, edit that okay so now you're gonna see is uh, in my versions folder uh, I have a normal vanilla Minecraft I have a modded survival Minecraft I've got a modded Minecraft and a tutorial Minecraft if I was to open up my launcher uh, I'll need to create a couple new profiles so let's just make them uh, this is going to be modded survival and that's going to use the modded uh, jar 
There we go. Um, I'm also going to make a profile called uh, tutorial. And that's going to use the tutorial jar. So we'll select that out. Awesome. Now you can see that in my profiles, I have the latest version, which is vanilla Minecraft, no mods installed. I have modded survival, I have mod loader and tutorial. And if I want to switch between any of those dot jars with all the different mods installed, all I have to do is select the different profile. The other cool thing you can do with this is if you hit new profile, uh, let's say I wanted to play beta 1.7.1.7, uh, beta 1.7, because that is a good version of Minecraft before they changed a ton of things and changed the game completely. Hit allow use of beta Minecrafts. I can go down and I can select the uh, beta version of Minecraft 1.7. Hit save profile. And so now I have lots of different versions of Minecraft all in here. And all I have to do is before I start up Minecraft, select which one I want to play on and hit play. And that is why uh, the new launcher is so brilliant. It allows modding Minecraft uh, and selecting different jars to be super, super easy and a simple process. Uh, whilst the modding process is slightly more longer, it will save you a ton of time in the future because switching between jars just became a hell of a lot easier. Anyways guys, I hope that tutorial helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to check out my channel for more tutorials and uh, awesome Minecraft PvP gameplay, as well as some other things, then make sure to check out my other videos as well. Anyways guys, I'm in Dowsy. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace!